What's going on, Virgos? This your girl, Heaven Sit. Um, I want to thank all my subscribers, y'all. I truly appreciate every single last one of y'all, okay? So, Virgos, this is going to be a sneak peek for the year 2017, okay? So, let's see what, what could possibly happen in 2017, all right? For the Virgos. Okay, and the deck I'm using is the Chron the Chronicles of Destiny fortune cards. So let's see what's going on. All right. So now the main message for 2017 is prosperity, freedom. All right, prosperity, freedom, y'all. Okay. You soon free yourself from the financial concerns that have troubled you of late. A steady stream of abundance flows into your life and this has a positive effect on many levels. Love, wealth, and creativity and healing all increase and grow stronger. But in order to keep the flow of abundance, there must be gratitude. Do not take things for granted. Be grateful, love, share, and put your abundance to good use. Know that you truly deserve all the blessings that come to you each day. You deserve to be happy. And know that at the core of your being, there exists a pure golden essence, which gives you an infinite capacity to create and draw abundance into your life. Remember always to look within. Go beyond the superficial personality and connect with the true essence of everyone and everything around you. Know also that money is simply energy and energy must always flow. Stagnant energy creates blockages, so keep giving and receiving. All right, Virgos. It's all about gratitude in 2017. All right. So let's let's get it. You already know. Get it cracking. Okay, so Virgos. Starting off the new year in January. All right. It might you got sure of chat trials. So to me. It might be some stressful shit going on in January. It could be either with a relationship or a job or any damn thing. All right. It's going to be a stressful month somewhere. You know what I'm saying? So look out for that. You're going to come into the new year probably stressful as hell. Like what the hell? Like you probably gonna be like, damn, I'm starting a new year off like this. This some bullshit, right? All right. Now, moving into February. Don't even worry. Because by February, it's a new beginning. Something new. Something new. All right? It's going to be a new door open for you. To go to a new, go towards a new path. You know what I'm saying? All right. Now, March. By March, you should be balanced with everything. Everything should you should be taking care of business or, or what you need to take care of. You know what I'm saying? You should be balanced in March. It shouldn't be no issue in March. Like, everything is going to flow. Like, you ain't going to have no worries. Everything you're going to be doing, every motherfucking thing you need to do in March. All right? April come, right? April. You're going to be around people that's loyal to you. People you could depend on. Like, if, if, if you ask somebody to do something, it shouldn't be no issue in April. Like, whoever you call, 
you already know they gonna they gonna handle that shit for your ass. Like, all right, I got you. You know what I'm saying? It ain't, it ain't shit. Like, what? You asking? You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be that that friendship may come. You got kissed. If I ain't named that card, the, the card that the um the people gonna be loyal to you and shit, that's the fellowship, okay? And then you go back, balance, I'm sorry, and then the adventure in February. So if I didn't, but I'll go back over it. Okay, so. um, May, you're gonna probably fall in love in May. A new love could approach. A deep connection with somebody is going to happen in May. All right? Look out for that. You're going to be probably feeling somebody in April. I mean, May. I'm sorry. May. Okay? May. You're going to be feeling somebody. All right. June. Shooting star. It's going to be good luck and good fortune in June. All right? Wish is going to be coming true. You're going to be like, damn. I, like, this is what I'm talking about. Shit. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have that feeling. Right? Now, moving into July. You got sink and ship. So, to me, it might be some delays and shit. Like... The money get low in July. Okay? So, to avoid all of this, to avoid this, when this come, because you know this is coming in June, save. Don't spend no money on no bullshit. Don't, do not. Don't plan nothing. And try to expect to do something next month. Like, Nah, because this can happen. Like, it could be good fortune, everything going good. Then July come, it's like, I can't do shit. Like, my money fucked up. I done spent some shit. I done spent all my goddamn money on some shit and I planned some shit. And the shit ain't even go as planned. Like, just wait. Wait on planning something. Don't, don't do it. Do it towards the end <laughs> you know what i'm saying don't be cautious of that be cautious as it's, it's looking good one minute and then all of a sudden it change like just save up save up okay now august you got the book of destiny now so th this month you might be not really taking no action on on the shit that you want to do like you thinking about some stuff you thinking about some stuff right and it's like it's it's in august take action like do that shit because september you got victory so august it's time to take action on what you want to do you know what I'm saying? Because victory is coming in September. It's it's time to do do whatever you want to do. Like it's time to plan that shit, get taking action cuz this is coming if you stay on this track. Now. October you might be tired. Like after this victory, you did shit. It's like, now you probably like, shit. Like, I don't want to do shit. I'm tired as hell. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know. Like, I don't even know if this is what I really want to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, you probably go back. Like, man, I don't even know if this is what I really want to do in, in October. Like, shit, I, I just want to sleep. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like 
November, you got Lady Spring here. So it's going to be some new beginnings somewhere. It's some new beginnings. Or maybe y'all be pregnant. Found out you was pregnant. That's why your asses is tied. Like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all might be like, damn, I don't want to do shit. Like, I'm too damn tired. Because she represents a new beginning. Like, a new beginning is something. Something finna grow. Like, fertility type shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, some of y'all might be pregnant. Find out y'all ass is pregnant in November. Because, look, you got, in December, you got Lady Winter. So, with her, she freezing shit. Shit is delayed. Like, shit ain't even, you, it's like, it's frozen. Like, you can't even make a move. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, congratulations if, if, if that come about. Because the main energy for this, re for this reading for 2017, you got Castle. So, it's all about stability, family, home, right? And then with this deck, you kind of got to compare the cards... You know what I'm saying? You got to like kind of, you know, see what cards is, is is talking to what card, you know? So, you got the castle as the overall energy, right? And you got one card in here that collab with it. And you got the adventure. Like a door opening up to a new path or something like that. So, with this castle here... Some of y'all in February might buy a new house or something new. You know what I'm saying? Y'all might sell a house, buy a new house, might see a house that you want. And you know, y'all get the, you know what I'm saying? Thinking like, damn it. Is, is that, is that the house I want type shit? You know what I'm saying? It's it's something with that. So look out for that in February, Virgos. Where, you know what I'm saying? It's something with a house. An opportunity to sell your house. An opportunity to buy a house. An opportunity to just, you know what I'm saying? Get shit going with a new path with a house or something like that. Alright, Virgos? So, let's recap. January. It might be some 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 trials and some tribulations coming into the new year. February, a new path open, a new door. March, you're gonna be balanced. April, whoever you surrounded by, who you kicking it with with, who you call your friends, the motherfuckers is loyal as hell. You're gonna be able to depend on them, right? May, you come across a love, like somebody you falling in love with, like somebody you really feeling. June. Good fortune. Good luck, right? July. Some shit might might be delayed. Money might go down. Just remember do not do not spend your money or don't plan shit because you know what I'm saying? July is it's like uh some bullshit. So just be mad for that. August. It's time to figure out what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Because in September, you're going to be victorious in that. It's going to be victory in that. Right? Now, October, you know what I'm saying? You might be tired. Like, you, you can't, you just dreaming. You just thinking about some shit. You ain't, you ain't really doing shit. You're not really taking no action. November come. Some with a new beginning or something. So, like I said, some of y'all might find out y'all pregnant. That's why... In October, y'all tired and really don't want to do shit. Because in December, like, with this lady winter here, it's like, shit gonna get froze. Like, it's at a standstill. You know what I'm saying? So, some of y'all might be having a new baby going into 2018. You know what I'm saying? Y'all fuck around and, and it's gonna be something new. Going towards 2018. You see what I'm saying? So, 
remember y'all can always go back and look at these videos you know what i'm saying and, and see if shit is playing out like i'm saying it all right virgos all right let me know this is sneak peek so this your girl have a scent all right peace out y'all